Featherweight through to super heavyweight, with the exception of the light welterweight division in which Renato Cornet of Australia receives a gold medal on a forfeit. His opponent, Joe Huljack, also of Australia, was overweight at today's weigh-ins. Australia has 12 boxes in the finals, New Zealand has six, there are two from Chinese Taipei and one each from Fiji and New Caledonia. My co-commentator is world-rated welterweight professional boxer Jeff Malcolm and Jeff, which bouts in particular are you looking forward to? Well I have to say the lightweight final with the New Caledonian Charles Bayou taking on David Clancy, I think David Clancy has got a very big future. Also. Uh, Murray Thompson, Wilfred Jensen, Murray is the reigning Australian Wallaway champion, that should be worth the admission price by itself. And the second well, a contest everybody has been waiting for, the final of the welterweight division between the current Australian welterweight champion Murray Thompson in the red corner, 20 years of age, 66 contests for 56 wins, and in the blue corner, a former Australian right welterweight champion, Wilfred Jensen. Winner of the light welterweight championship in 1983 and a bronze medalist at the President's uh, Cup tournament in Indonesia in 1983. He retired after winning his Olympic challenge in early 1984, but has made a comeback now in the welterweight division. The referee for this contest is uh, Mr. Alan Walker from New Zealand. Second down, round one. It's the most interesting contest in the tournament as far as the Australian public is concerned. Two great fighters. Murray Thompson, of course, unlucky not to win the gold at the Australian Games. And since then, he's uh, early on in this series, he's, he's outpointed his New Zealand Stop. opponent. And uh, Wilf Jensen, of Stop. course, He's a great boxer, Wilfred. There's not too much can be said about him. He's, he's one of the best fighters in Australia today. Yeah, both these boys are beautifully balanced. Beautifully balanced boxers. Throw their punches nicely. Plenty of shoulder, plenty of body weight behind them. Here we have a current champion and a former champion. It's Wilf Jensen in the gold singlet against Murray Thompson wearing the red sash. And uh, a bit of a grudge match too, if, uh, if truth be known, this one. Well, the two guys, are, uh, everybody likes to be the number one, so there's always going to be that little bit of rivalry there when uh, you've got two good fighters like these with uh, a lot of pride in the same division. So it's going to be interesting to see who comes out on top. Well, uh, Will Jensen did very well in that exchange with a couple of good grips to the body and then a left to the side of the head. Very quick punching. Wilfred started off very well. At the moment, he's doing it very, very well indeed. But don't write Murray off. Box. Both uh, boxers have received their uh, caution so far. Murray Thompson to duck in the head and uh, Jensen for holding. These two boys both put their punches together very well indeed. Good right to the face by uh, Will Jensen as Thompson came in. And uh, Jensen scored again with left to the body. Well, Jensen scored again with rights to the body and to the head. Jensen looking good in this first round. Another left and then a right to the head by Jensen. Another one. And again he scores with a right over the top. Jensen looking good in this uh, first round. Caution against Jensen for holding again. Wolford's leading some pretty good punches. He certainly is. It's Wolford's round, there's no doubt about that. Oh, another good left from Jensen. He's a clever boxer. He's made the uh, Murray Thompson miss on many occasions. Scores again with left and right combination at the end of round one. Great round for Wolford. I feel his superior boxing skill clearly won that round. 
And uh, Murray's sort of stepping up now to get back into it. Round two. For, uh, the two boxers. It's Wilfred Jensen in the goal singlet against Murray Thompson. Murray Thompson, the Australian weatherweight champion. Wilf Jensen, former Australian light weatherweight champion. Now upper division. The first round went to Jensen. Thompson really needs to do something in the second round to even up this contest. Stop! Box! Caution against uh, Jensen for holding. Holding the arm of his opponent. Back! Murray is uh, trained by Mick Canavan, who is in his corner. He's the uh, Australian co uh, trainer. But Wolford's trained with David Clancy, with Bo Goering and Spencer Driver. So they're both... Uh, Got some pretty good handlers with him, so makes it look very interesting. Again there, Jensen making Thompson miss. But uh, Thompson has landed one or two more in this round than he did in the first round. It's a bit around for Murray. Yes. Wolford's a tremendous balance. He can throw a punch and whatever one he can come back with the other hand. It's just terrific move Wilfred Jensen. Well, he's really going after Thompson at the moment. His second asking for a big round. and asked to keep the head up. He ripped to the body and then left to the head by Jensen as Thompson comes after him. Yes, uh, holding and turning and spinning his opponent around caution against uh, Jensen again. Wilford's had a long spell out of the ring and it's only uh, just come back recently so whether he'll be uh, lacking a bit of condition we we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. Well he seems to be tiring a little bit to me Jeff. Landed a good rip to the body. Well, we know that Murray Thompson is 100% we've seen Murray before and uh, something never lacks his condition. Nick Canavan does a great job with his conditioning. And the bell sounds at the end of a very good second round of this welterweight final. It's a bit around for Murray Thompson. Thompson kept chasing him uh, in that second round and Jensen did seem to tire just a little bit. Has he got enough left uh, to see out the third round? This is the third and last round of the Welterweight Championship Final. And it's Wilt Jensen of uh, Australia in the gold singlet against Murray Thompson of Australia wearing the red sash. Oh, good punches by Jensen, left and right. Good combination. Scores again with the right left. He would have taken the points of the first round, the second round pretty even. Thompson doing a little better. But Jensen, I would say, would be just in front going into this third and final round. But another caution against Jensen. Thompson coming back strongly now. And it's a warning against Jensen now. Another caution for holding, and that brings a warning from the referee. Holding around the head, around the neck. But he's 
Will making Thompson miss. Well, Thompson seems to have tied just a little bit now, too. This has been a pretty furious contest. These two have thrown just about everything at each other. Two Good. great fighters, John. Things look very healthy for amateur boxing in Australia with two guys like this in the final. Murray Thompson, the Australian champion, and Wilf Jensen on the comeback trail. Blood coming from the nose of uh, Murray Thompson. Both boxers scoring in that exchange. And they're both getting very tired now. And little wonder, they've thrown so much leather in this contest. Murray Thompson, the current Australian welterweight champion, against Wolf Jensen, former light welterweight, on the comeback track. Stop. Good left into the body from Thompson, but uh, Jensen came back with a left hook. Another left hook from uh, Jensen. Right. Well, they're both very tired, Jeff. Yes, I think Wolf can just hang on long enough, he should get the decision. Yes, I would have him in front. He scores again with a left rip and then a left hook and a right to the head by Jensen and another right in close. Oh, he's very tired and so is Thompson. And there's the bell to end a great fight. contest between two great victorians. Well, towards the end of that third round, both boxers were tiring very badly, but uh, little wonder, oh, that's good punching from Jensen. Left and right, good combination. Then another left of the head. Thompson tries to fight back, but Jensen made Thompson miss uh, on so many occasions in that contest, in all three rounds. Ladies and gentlemen, in the welterweight division, the gold medal by Toyota will be presented to, with a majority of three to two, in the blue corner... Well, a split decision. Three judges going for Jensen. Two for Thompson, but it's a win to Jensen on a majority points decision over...